What's good, y'all? It's that boy that got that man that main Vaga, and we back with another adventure, man. In today's adventure, we are picking up some kind of dairy product. I think it might be some cheese or Duke's mayonnaise or something like that. Um, but yeah, so we are supposed to be taking it from over here in Greenville, South Carolina to Springfield, Massachusetts. So yeah, that's what we got going on. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Yeah, man, I'm over here uh, about to back up into this dock. They said I had to wait until... Yeah, Jackie, I know you see me coming over here, bro. Come on. Right, stop. I just want to back into the door and leave. I'll be out your way. I promise you I will. But yeah, so they said I had to wait till this door clears, this opened up. And uh, I particularly like this logo. Number one, it's paying good. But then number two, it's staying out of the way of that doggone hurricane, man. That hurricane is, is causing some havoc with that weather and rain and stuff like that across the Midwest right now. So, yeah, I went ahead and accepted this load, and that's what we're about to do now. It's about to go ahead and uh, back on into this dock and uh, go ahead and get loaded. And hopefully, they don't take a long time because I would like to knock out a couple miles a day. I think total miles on this trip is about, about 900 miles or so, something like that. So, yeah, we shall see. Yeah, so like I said, I believe it's about 900 miles or so to get over there to the uh, receiver. And so I want to knock out at least about three to 400 miles a day. Hopefully we can do it, uh, depending on how long they take over here with my clock and stuff. But I just need to get it in striking distance uh, for tomorrow so I can complete it on the uh, shift tomorrow. So that's the goal. That's what we're rocking with, man. About to go ahead and uh, get loaded over here, and I'll turn the camera back on once I get loaded. All right, so just like that, we're done getting loaded. Let's see what we got in the back. And it actually didn't take too long, it only took about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, okay, okay, so we got some mayonnaise, <laughs> whole bunch of mayonnaise. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some load locks for this Joker and uh, get everything locked down. And then uh, we're gonna put this thing on in the wind, man. I'm gonna close one of these doors, start cooling it off, though. Whole bunch of man, that, oh, it's different brands, too. What did I say? Silver sword. Anyway, all right, let me grab these low lots real quick, bro. Well, I tell you, this dog gonna rip you in the loud, boy. Sound like a go kart. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we're gonna put this good old low lock in here and get this thing locked on down. I'll tell you one thing, bro. that little breeze from the reefer so feel good out here in this heat in South Carolina for real. Okay, so it's more than mayonnaise. We got some salad dressing, some condiment. It might be. Might be ketchup or something like that. I don't know, just like a whole bunch of condiments and dressings and stuff like that. It was a little mix load. Okay, there I see the Duke's mayonnaise over there. Okay, okay. All right, low lock and stall. Look like it's pretty tight. Should be good to go. Put this seal on here. And we'll be ready to put it in the wind. Back in this AC, man. For real. Check my fuel over real quick. Uh, still got half. Okay, so I'm 
I'm good for a little while. Yeah, man. The king and chick, bro. Y'all hear that review? It sound like a go kart. All right, y'all. So we finally done left that place, man. That place actually wasn't that bad, like I said before. Uh, they loaded me in about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, so they were pretty cool. The only thing is, the lady didn't tell me uh, when I checked in. She didn't tell me like exactly what to do once the load was ready. So I, I guess apparently I was supposed to go in once I had the green light. But, um, you know, some places they'll tell you, uh, you know, we'll give you a phone call or either they'll tell you, you know, we'll come knock on your door or whatever. So she never specified and uh, I had wrote my phone number down on the check-in paper. So naturally I'm thinking like, okay, don't give me a phone call. Uh, Cause she said, you know, we'll give you a call once we give you a door type thing. And uh, so yeah, that never happened. <laughs> uh, she was like, yeah, you know, drive your, uh, your bills have been ready for a little minute. So I'm like, okay, well, I didn't know. You know, you never really told me, but besides that, you know, everything was straight. I'd rather uh, that happen than me be sitting in that dock waiting all day, killing time and stuff. So yeah, like I said, I got about, not, right, about right at 900 miles to go to get up here to Massachusetts. And I got my fuel stop typed in. I got 57 miles at the Luz. I'm gonna fill up uh, at the Luz over there in Blacksburg, cause that's my cheapest fuel stop according to the app and the discount um so yeah i'm gonna do that and then uh we're gonna keep it moving man so uh hope y'all enjoy this b-roll real quick shower but look at this y'all see that 16 customers in line no that ain't happening today absolutely not <laughs> and i should have known when i pulled up the love sign is out it got a black heart instead of a red heart so yeah your boy ain't getting no love with the shower today <laughs> so i'm just gonna fuel up over here and then uh i'll you know stop somewhere else later on and catch a shower or whatever just keep on rolling but yeah, man, I thought that was crazy. 16 customers is wild. The only other time I ever seen more was, uh, I think it was, what was it? it was Laredo, Texas. I think it was at the Pilot or TA down there. And uh, it was like 30 some people in line waiting for a shower. So yeah, uh, like I said, I'm just gonna fill up over here and then keep it moving, man. So we can make up some time and knock down some of these miles. day two with it man uh as you can see got about 565 miles left to go um i was able to knock out about 340 last night uh before you know start getting a little tired and start getting too too late um so yeah i just got that 565 left to go and so i'm gonna go ahead and try to you know knock all that out today or whatever and go ahead and get in the area i might be able to stop just a little short of it um i gotta see uh because my appointment time is for eight in the morning and I just got to see what time my hours gonna come back for me to stop a little short and finish it off tomorrow. But if not, then you know, we're just gonna try to go ahead and get on over there and probably just park outside the facility. Cause I think it said that uh, it was a little bit of overnight parking or something like that on the street that you could do up there. So, so I mean, we're gonna see about it, but you know, for now, I just wanna go ahead and get started and get this thing on in the wind. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go.
long story short, this morning I woke up and I, uh, I don't know what woke me up. Like I said, it could be nothing but God. And then uh, I looked at the time and I said, I got to go. So I got like a 10 minute window, y'all, just to make this thing in between time. And originally my hours gonna come back where I had almost two hours to, to make these last few miles. So from, you know, two hours to like a little 10 minute window, that's a big difference. So we trying to hurry up. And it's looking like on, on the traffic, it looks like there's a, it's gonna be clear. I sure hope and pray that it is the case. <laughs> Uh, that way we don't have no kind of discrepancies or no issues. So we're making this appointment on time, man. So, yeah, fingers crossed. We're going to keep that right foot down and we're going to try to make this thing, man. <laughs> A few moments later. No, no, no. <laughs> Come on, traffic. Don't do me like that, man. And I need to take this exit. Come on, traffic! So we done made it over here like I said before man. So he told me to uh, park in the middle section over there and then walk up this ramp to check in and I had to make sure you know got that good old vest on right here man. So that's what we're about to do man. I'm just glad we made it over here. Uh, and yeah I guess I'm gonna go ahead and end this video off right here man. So y'all take care, stay blessed man. And uh, yeah Vaga out. See y'all on the next one. Peace.